Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Did I forget to record an intro? Yes, I did. So we're just going to jump right into it. Starting off with my pop art mask makeup. So I painted this mask using paint and a Sharpie. And then we're going to go in first with the Ben Nye HD foundation in my shade. We're just going to put it all over the skin. Make sure the skin is clear and perfect, baby, because you do not look uh, rusty and dusty on comic books. Okay, we got to go blemish free, acne scar free, um, regret free, uh, stress free, all the free. Just now we're dipping into the Krylon cream colors. Uh, concealers to make sure that my under eyes aren't sagging okay they're designer but they're still from Ross okay baby so we got to continue we're gonna uh, blend that out with one of the brushes mm -hmm. one of the brushes that makes sense uh, but we're just blending that out all over then we're using a big brush to do the heavy duty because I have a big ass head don't make fun of it I understand next thing we're going in is the chameleon body paints black and white we're gonna start off by Fixing up these eyebrows, these man bush, these sasquatch brows, these caterpillars, whatever you want to call it. And then we're going to go fill them in with the black paint. Uh, I don't know what else I was supposed to say, but we're filling in these <laughs> eyebrows. We're going to try to make sure that they're sisters, maybe cousins, maybe a doppelgangers, but they're not going to be equal, okay? Now we're starting to do the lines around the face. Here we do the nose and my camera cuts off and I didn't notice so then I had to film this part separately, but I had to do cheekbones and then around the face. Now I, you already know, naturally don't have black hair, but if you want, you can fill in your hair with body paint, you can spray paint it, you can get a wig, but you know, I don't have time for that. So I'm just gonna do all the expression lines to really make sure that my face is cartoony. Well, not cartoony, co comic book, pop art, extravaganza, 2020, you know the drill. The next thing I'm doing is outlining my eyes with the body paint, which I don't really recommend. I just did not want to pull out my eyeliner, but this is just a quick, easy way to really make sure the black is consistent on everywhere, if that makes sense. Uh, just really make sure that it doesn't get in my eye, because um, that would be a pain in the eye. <laughs> then we're going in with that same chameleon body paint in the color Blood Red. And we're just going to start doing dots around our forehead. You can do dots all over your face. I decided to just do it um, in certain parts of my areas, certain parts of my area, certain parts of my face. That's what I meant. <laughs> And last but not least, we put on the mask and boom, baby, boom. You are ready to go. I don't know where you're going, but you are ready to go, baby. And this is my pop art mask look. Next makeup look is the Asylum Patient Mask Makeup. This one is a little easier and a little bit more simple, but it gets the job done. We're going to go in first with the Cinema Secrets FX palette in the color Lividity under my eyes to make sure those eyes look sunken in. We're going to do it in our eyes, in our eyes, <laughs> on top of our lids, and we're going to use a brush, and then you can also use your finger or a sponge. Just make sure to pat that out just so it blends in nicely. For our next color, we're going to go in with the Undead European Body Art Palette in the color Bruce Purple. We're going to put that around the eyes and then going in with the Vein Blood color from the same palette, we're going to be outlining our eyes. Yes, it got in my eyes, but <laughs> if alcohol does get in your eyes, make sure to look up because alcohol does evaporate upwards. Now, the reason why I'm adding these colors to my eyes is because I want them to look really tired, really worn out, like I'm just going crazy, just no sleep and everything like that. For the next step, we're going in with Pale Dead and mixing it with light green. And we're going to use a stipple brush and we're just going to put it all over my skin to get rid of that redness, to look more pale, just to look more sick. 
we're just putting dabbing that all around evenly and then the next color we're going in with the color gas leaf from the fx palette and then we're just dippling that dippling we're all stippling that all over and then the next color that we're going in with is the nicotine stain i was just making sure that just add different skin colors all over the skin to really break it up and just make me look like your boy's been through it anxiety stressed pressed and borderline depressed the next color that I added was Vein Tone from the Undead palette. I just dippled that randomly around the skin, again, just to break out the skin, and then went in with uh, Pale Dead and put it on my eyebrows. Why did I put it on my eyebrows? <laughs> I don't know. But the next step is I'm going in with Vein Blood from the Undead palette and just drawing in veins. I really like to use nail brushes because they seem really small and tight for veining. Unfortunately, you can't really see the veining, but in person you can, so that's all that counts, right? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're going in with red veins, we're going in with blue veins, and then we're just patting it down so it looks like it's under the skin and not on top. Please make sure that you're using it really diluted so it's not so pigmented, because we are trying to give the illusion that it's under the skin and not on top. Then I'm going back in with the pale dead and light gray mixture that I did with the undead palette all over my skin, just to really make sure that everything is tied back together. And then using my fresh scab blood from Ben Nye, I'm just spat spatting it, splatting it, splat freaking putting it all over my face with the sponge, jeez Louise. Then <laughs> next I'm going in with a dark powder and just stippling it over my mask so it's not so clean. Just make it really dirty. You can use vomit, you can use more blood, you can, God knows what you want to use, but just make it dirty and nasty and just worn out. And this is my final look of the Asylum mask makeup. It's really simple, really easy, but now we're moving on to the UV Clown mask makeup. Yes, I got a haircut. Yes, I laminated my brows. Not laminated, I glued them down. And then we're first going in with some white cream paint. And then we're just gonna stipple it all over my face. We're gonna try to do the top half because there's no point of doing it if you're gonna be wearing a mask. Just make sure you're stippling it on, not dragging it to really make sure that it's full coverage. Then we're gonna start powdering it with my RCMA translucent powder all over the face. First I started with the sponge, but then later on I just moved on to a brush because the brush was a lot easier and a lot faster. Then we're going in with Hydra Liners from Suva in colors Dance Party and Acid Trip. So these actually are UV, so they're activated by black light. And then I'm just gonna draw, I don't know, it's, I was trying to do like a little squiggly triangle thing, but it just ends up looking like a Santa hat. But we're just gonna go with it. We're just gonna go with it and we're just gonna continue and it'll turn out at the end. Remember, always don't, don't be discouraged about the makeup that you start, cause, um, it will look like shit the whole time until the very end and it'll, it'll look good, hopefully. Yeah, remember when I said I was going with Dance Party? Yeah, no, that's a lie. I'm actually gonna go with Tracksuit because I felt like this color would be a little bit better and more vibrant than the yellow. I was afraid that it was like orange and yellow and I was like, nah, let's switch it up. The next step I'm doing is I'm going to be outlining the little squiggly triangle Santa hat things with chameleon black body paint. As you can see, I started adding accents to my clown makeup with the same black body paint and I put on the mask to see how much coverage I need it, so then I decided, let me draw some like little stars under the eyes, just cause. <laughs> 
For the next step, I start splattering fanny pack on one side of the face and on the other side of the face, I start splattering, splatter, splattering, splattering <laughs> dance party. And then eventually I start splattering all the different colors all over my face. And for the final look, I teased out this green wig that I got from Target, turned on that black light, and boom, baby! I also did want to mention that I got this clown nose, these fake vampire teeth, and this tongue from Party City. I just glued it back on, and boom. I would have made the tongue, but I ain't got time for that. For my final makeup, I'm doing the mummy mask makeup. We're just gonna go in with our simple latex and tissue paper. We're gonna put it all over our face. First, we're gonna put some liquid latex and then we'll start layering tissue paper on top of it just to make sure the skin looks nasty, decaying, just textured, just nasty. Your mummy, remember, you've been dead for thousands of years. So basically the steps are first put your liquid latex, tear a piece of toilet paper, make sure to scrunch it up so it looks already wrinkly, and then put layer by layer. You can put as many layers as you want. I decided just to do two for the video purposes. Um, and on set purposes, I'll probably have to do a prosthetic to make sure that the, it looks more uh, bony because you know your skin starts to decay, the fat starts to decay, just all over mess. So, but this is just a simple, easy way to do it at home. Before you start coloring your tissue paper, please make sure that it's completely dry. So I went in with the blow dryer all over my face and then I slightly, gently started making holes, tears for unevenness in my skin. Then I went in with multiple colors from my grunge palette and multiple colors from my uh, undead palette. Unfortunately, I did not catch which colors I did. So I just did a bunch of colors with brown, blues, dark purple, dark reds, uh, filling in my eye with some dark red and just making sure it just looks muddy and decay. All right, to start finishing up the look, I wrapped around this cheesecloth kind of fabric and then now I'm going in with the gauze roll, just wrapping it all over my face, all over my head. However you want it, you can cover your eye. Maybe you want to cover both eyes. You can see through the gauze or maybe however you want to do it. Then I went in with a dark brown eyeshadow and just started patting it all over the gauze so it looks dirty and nasty and just, again, All right, I'm gonna go put in my contacts and do the final touches, and boom, there is your mummy. Last and final look. And that's it, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I try to make them quick and easy for everybody to do. If you are going out for Halloween, please wear a mask. And stay tuned for the other videos coming out this October in my channel. Again, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification button so you know every time I upload. Bye!